them, but there's something that we do usually when there's a lot of people, but it goes like, you should be here. 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 out tonight, little housekeeping. If you got a cell phone, smartphone, dumb phone, could you put it on uh, vibrate real quick? I'm gonna do mine too. All right, everybody got it? Got it. Who, who's team iPhone in here? Team iPhone? All right. <laughs> All right, cool. So once again, thank you guys for coming out. And you know, thank you to Michael Godfather Kalala for bringing us all together and really yeah. awesome. You know, as you guys know, most of us would not even be in this room if it weren't for this man right here. So, you know, number one recruiter at his rank right now, just an absolute leader, and the guy who changed my life exactly a year ago at this Christmas party. So, I'm gonna tell you guys for that. Yeah. All right, so I'll tell you a little more about that later on, but just a little bit about Mike. He's been an entrepreneur since he was 23 years old. He used to be a private investigator and actually has some history with my family in that sense because I've known him since I was about eight years old. So, you know, just one of the most consistent leaders in Illinois, in the in world ventures, I gotta say, nobody goes as hard as this man right here and has taught me more. And you know, we got some other leaders in the room that uh, contributed to Mike's success, but really, you know, just thank you for always caring about us so much and always doing everything. You know, coming out to NIU for me every single week, that's not an easy drive. So you guys, once again, give it up to Michael Colella. I know he really, as you can see, went all out for this party. So live it up. And uh, everybody, Michael Colella. What's up guys, is Team Limit Without Limits in the house or what? So guys, I'm, I'm actually very overwhelmed right now to see a lot of you here. Um, you know, some of you know I have approximately like 200 people on my team right now. I had to limit the amount of people to bring to this party for obvious reasons. So what I did is I made it definitely um, where you earned your seat today. So I'm here to honor all of you because you've done something to be here today. So I, I appreciate all of you. So um, I'm not gonna take up too much of your time because I want everybody to you know, get to know each other, mingle, enjoy the party. And um, you guys, what, one of the reasons I, I brought everybody here together is to make sure that everybody mingles with each other. Don't stay at your tables, you know, go meet everybody who's on the team because some of those people might be able to help propel your business at a faster rate because that's how I started out too, by meeting a lot of people. So um, guys, I'm gonna share with you um, a clip from, uh, it's actually in your back office on WBOnDemand.com and some of you might wonder why I'm gonna show this clip. It's a six minute clip. And certain things mean certain things to different people. And for me, when I first saw this, and I, I saw this clip like more than a year and a half, maybe even two years ago, almost, and it just, it just kind of grabs me. And it, I want you to really, really, really pay attention to the things that each person talks about and says. It's our 2011 international convention that was uh, our United Convention in Vegas. And just uh, some of the things that, you know, like Matt Moore says, I mean, really touched me over a year ago. And seeing the type of conventions that, that we offer, um, speaking of which, uh, who, who here is registered for Momentum? Raise your hand. All right, that's what I'm talking about. If wow. you guys, uh, real quick, if you guys are not registered for that event, guys, I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you something, actually, I'm, I'm going to shift gears a little bit. Let me tell you when I first joined World Ventures, okay? It was March 18 of 2010. And I was a, always a go-getter, okay? I, I've been very successful in life. I, I you know, thank God for that. And then when I saw this concept in this company, I said, here's my ticket out. See, I may not have had financial issues. I had time issues. I was always time broke. I was 80, 90 hours a week working. So if you literally work those kind of hours, what does all the money in the world mean? And what? And if you don't have your health on top of it, what does that mean? Nothing. So I saw a way to literally 
get out of that rat race, okay, and to be able to literally do things like this and get paid. Because right now, we, me and John, we have this thing here that um, every time we twitch a little bit, just know that that's normal. That means that we just cycle and stuff. So we're making money. You know, most of us are making money in other states. Uh, there he goes again. <laughs> about 600 um, so so guys I saw this company as my way out okay and believe me it was hard starting out for me because I was still growing you know my limousine business to the point to where I wanted it and um, I was just overwhelmed with the possibilities and what you know um, and, and poor Shelly and John they had it rough with me at the beginning you know because I would not go to any trainings whatsoever None. I, I used to tell them, I used to be like, you know what? I don't need the rah-rah stuff, all right? I'm a go-getter. I, I, I'm good, right? And slowly but surely, okay? And I, I'll never forget the day that me and John sat down. And, and I don't know if you remember this, John, but John, you know, tried to break me down a little bit, you know, and, uh, and build me back up, sort of like how they do, you know, like in the military. And, and he asked me, he goes, uh, he goes, Mike, let me ask you a question. What's bigger, your ego or your bank account? And I looked right at him and I said, John, to be honest with you, they're about the same. <laughs> Anybody that knows me, right? So, um, but, you know, I, I basically got open-minded to going to the events, okay? And, um, guys, the reason why I'm talking about this is, is those events made me who I am today, all right? I had great, you know, leadership with my sponsor along with, you know, a few people here. But the thing is, don't, you know, are you going to go and do a job if you're not trained for it? So I literally went to uh, my first event, which was Momentum of last year, and it completely changed my life. For those of you that don't know, at that uh, event, the BMW car bonus came out, and I was like laser focused on it. I told myself, I am getting a BMW. There's nothing that's gonna stop me. Not that I need another car, <laughs> but I'm gonna get it if it's free. So you know what, I got back home, this was, how, it was in February, the first month that it was offered. And let me explain how my February went. I went on a full week's vacation, came back for a week, went on another full week's vacation. Poor Sharice, she did all the packing. And, uh, and then came back for the rest. So in under two weeks time, I was able to earn my BMW, okay? So, thank you. So that being said, okay, I didn't do anything spectacular, okay? I, I did obviously work for it, I did earn it, but it was also my team, it was, it was most of you that helped me. So I commend you for that as well. But the thing is, is the trainings do so much. And we have a um, momentum that's coming up in January. And if you guys aren't registered, you guys, can, you know, if you say you can't afford to go, you cannot afford not to go. I assure you of that, okay? Life-changing event. So, like I said, I could have picked so many clips. I picked this one here because the things that each speaker says really touched me. Okay, touched me in a profound way to make a decision to go all into this deal. See, I was part time now. For those of you that you don't know, you know that I'm literally full time World Ventures, part time limo limos. So, because um, I see where it's going, all right. And um, from what I hear, there's going to be an announcement um, in Momentum that literally is going to blow away the BMW. And I, I have no idea what that could possibly be, but I can't wait to find out, and I'm gonna be right there when it's announced. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this very short six minute clip. Please play very close attention to the speakers on stage and the things that they say. And I hope it touches you like it touched me, okay? All right. Hello everybody, this is Wayne Nugent, your Chief Visionary Officer and Co-Founder of World Ventures. Welcome to the 2011 International Convention, 19 countries represented. We love you. Now come on, let's get this done. Let's rock and roll.
They love it. Just like we did. chuckling a little bit, the, the long redhead, there was two actually, and she says, uh, you know, you got to go out and you got to share it. You got to share it with other people because they need it. See guys, all of us and everybody else out there needs this. All of us have jobs and, and you know, I always tell my presentations, you know, what a job stands for, just over broken. Because I don't know one person in my life, and I know a lot of people, that have a job that has created any kind of wealth whatsoever. And see, I know it's difficult. Especially when you start out, if you're you know working full time and you're trying to build world ventures, you got such obstacles and things to overcome. But you know what? That's what separates the two percenters in life from the ninety-eight percenters. All right, we are definitely the two percenters. I can assure you of that. Okay. Yeah. See, I, I was watching. Um, I was watching that. Uh, I was looking through channels and I found um, that one show, uh, Ice Loves Coco, that Ice T show. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. And I was watching it and they were talking to Mario Andretti, the race car driver. And uh, I posted it on my Facebook a few days ago. And uh, Mario Andretti said that you know you have to be passionate about what you do, all right? And you have to love what you do and you have to stay consistent and work hard at it because nothing in life that's worthwhile comes easy. Nothing in life comes easy that's worth it. And that's what this is, you know? I always tell people, when I first recruit someone, I always tell them two things. I, I tell them I make you two promises. Everybody says there's no promises in life. I give them two promises. One, it's not gonna be easy. 
Two, it's going to be so worth it. You're going to be able this company, what this company gives you, let me tell you what it gives you. It gives you choices. See, I'm the, I'm the guy that, I don't know what an alarm clock sounds like anymore. I roll over, I roll out of bed. I mean, that's the life that all of us want. And I'm nothing special, believe me. I'm just a guy that made a decision two and a half years ago to go all in on this and go full force at it so I can have choices in my life. So I don't have to be like, you know what, I gotta be up at a certain hour at three o'clock in the morning to go and do this or do that. You know, I can call my own shop. So another thing that was real interesting uh, was, uh, you know, Matt Morris, when he got up on there, for those of you that know him, you know, he talks about you have everything in you to go win at this, okay? You do. See, some of you may have doubts, don't have doubts, okay? See, when I saw this, I saw such a phenomenal product that I don't have to really sell this. I just gotta talk to the people with common sense. They're gonna jump on board and I'm gonna make money by doing that. That's how easy this is. So you do have everything in you to go out and make it happen. Um, you know, Mike Ashley, our co-founder, great man, great speaker, okay? Um, he talked about how this isn't his company, this isn't Wayne's company, this is your company. It is your company, okay? And if you know anything about our co-founders, you'll know that they are phenomenal individuals, okay? Very approachable when you see them at a convention and stuff like that. So remember that this is your company. I'm, you know, I'm very proud of that. And uh, you know, one of the things that Wayne talked about at the end there, Wayne talked about how, and he says this all the time, a day is not wasted if a memory is created. Think about that. A day is not wasted if a memory is created. And he said, you know, I'm all about creating a memory. And that's what I am. I'm all about creating a memory. This here, guys, is memorable for me. I'll never forget this. It was worth everything that I put into this to organize it and, and have you guys all here enjoying the evening, enjoying our Christmas party together. And then um, one of the other things that, uh, uh, it, or one of the things that Eric says, for those of you that don't know Eric Grabowski, he was the one that was up there that was basically saying, you know, working nine to five for 35 grand a year ain't the deal. We got how do, how do people even live on that kind of money nowadays? I mean, th this company can offer you at the highest level $607,000 a year, a house payment of $3,000 a month, and a car payment of $1,500 a month. I mean, if that doesn't motivate people, I don't know what will, okay? So remember that, that's not the deal, nine to five or whatever shift you may work. Work hard at this. I just wanna, you know, I just wanna touch you guys tonight to make you understand that, you know, um, you know, all of you probably don't know, Sharice knows this, but all of you don't know, I watch that six minute and 38 second clip every morning before I start my morning and every night before I go to bed. It's because, you know what, it's everything that it says in there touches me in a, in a very profound way and it makes me overcome the obstacles of that day and the obstacles that I'm gonna come into contact with the very next day. And guys, believe me, you think you have it rough? I've had it rough, okay? But you know what, I get through it all, and you guys will get through it all. See, you have to see the vision. You have to, you have to know that literally, that you wanna have choices in life, okay? So anyways, um, for those of you that, uh, that know me, you know that I'm huge on recognition. When someone does something, I'm very big on it, okay? And I'm gonna do just a little recognition. First off, um, I just wanna kinda of, you know, give it up for uh, Marianne Razik uh, for the cello. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, if you guys can give it up for our uh, videographer here, uh, Becky's mom, as a matter of fact. <laughs> So I'm gonna go right into my recognition, okay? Something that you know means a lot to me. And um, God, you know, what do I what do I say about this individual that I'm about to recognize? Um, she's a phenomenal uh, woman in the company. She literally um, is a single mom. She uh, she came to me literally. Um, I, I want to say several months ago, and said to me, said Mike, I want to lock arms with you. My business is going well, but. I think that there's a lot of room for growth and I wanna get there faster, all right? I'll do whatever you want me to do, she says. Just show me the way. And I put a, a system into place. And in my presentations on Monday nights, I always talk about, you know, who here thinks that McDonald's has the best tasting burgers, you know? 
of course we don't, you know, but they have the best system. So I created a system for the team, all right, and uh, that system is basically in, involves a lot of different things, but one of the things which is the most important thing is training, okay? So, um, you know, this person here literally has gone above and beyond, and I mean above and beyond, guys. This person here literally has helped train and spend several hours of her day, several times a day, or several times a week, excuse me, all right, training people that she doesn't even override. Uh, incentive whatsoever. But she does it because she cares about everybody in this room as much as I do. So Michelle, can you come up here real quick? Yeah. I just, you know, I adore her for everything that she's done for me and for all of you and continues to do. And you know what's really significant is when people don't ever ask for anything in return. And she's never asked for one thing. She's never whined about anything. She just gets it done. She goes and gets it done. A lot, a lot of what we do here, okay? So, Michelle, I want to kind of give you a little present. You can open that up. Even though it's not Christmas, I won't tell Santa. <laughs> She's been good all year, she said. <laughs> so hold that up. Thank you. Peter. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so, uh, and it has her name on here. And uh, we just want to, you know, recognize you, obviously, for being, you know, a phenomenal individual team trainer everything. Um, you never ask for anything, which gives me the absolute pleasure to give you that. I'll trade you for free. Uh, yes. Yeah, go ahead. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, oh, so that's a thousand dollars from me to her. It's just because you, you've never asked for anything. And you've helped train and make money for people that you're not financially incentivized to do so. So, you know, God, you know, his people, and uh, and that's from uh, from us to you. So um, there's that. So give it up one more time for Michelle. She'll rent a limo so I can get my money back. <laughs> so um, the next thing I want to do is I want to I want to recognize the top three people that have gone to the most trainings and the most meetings combined. Trainings and meetings, okay? Because see, a lot of people don't understand that you know our weekly opportunity meetings that we have in Bolingbrook on Thursday nights and Wednesday nights in Naperville and Lagrange and also Monday nights, the ones that I host in Joliet, you know, some of you don't realize we need you there. Even if you don't have a guest, we need you there for social proof. People need to see that this is real. And these people have been to the most amount of meetings, the most amount of trainings. And there's a lot of you in here that have, but I just, you know, I had to obviously recognize the top three. And uh, for, the, for those individuals, I, uh, I have a book here that, uh, that Shelly actually turned me on uh, last year sometime. And, uh, the writer of this book actually is in World Ventures, correct? Yeah, and um, I had him personally sign the inside of each one for me. So if um, if I could um, kindly ask if uh, Dennis, Colleen, and Michelle could come up here. So the, these three here have been to the most meetings and trainings, regional events, um, national events, and uh, and like I said, there's a lot of you in here that have been to a lot as well. I just had to obviously pick the top three. So if you guys could just give it up for them. Okay? <laughs> the next uh, people I want to kindly recognize is, um, you know, not too long ago, I, on uh, September 10th, as a matter of fact, you know, when, when your life changes, you remember dates. It's kind of amazing. But September 10th was the first day that we ever did our Joliet meeting, 
okay? And uh, we opened up Joliet um, for opportunity meetings at 715 uh, every single Monday night. For those of you that don't know, it's at St. Joseph's Academy, 51 West Jackson Street. I want to see everybody here. Um, so these are the people that actually I picked as a committee to help me you know, start Joliet and, and formulate ideas and try to make it as successful as it could possibly be. So, you know, if um, if I could kindly ask if uh, Kathy Stefanik and uh, the other Kathy also, uh, Jean, uh, Michelle, Michelle's popular tonight, and, uh, and Pat, if you can come up here as well. <laughs> So uh, these folks up here, they, um, they were crucial uh, for the, the planning and executing of uh, my Joliet location for opportunity meetings. We threw around a lot of great ideas. Uh, we fixed the bad ideas and we just you know, kept on trucking. And, um, and we got it done. And, and I'm very proud to say Joliet you know, definitely has room for growth, don't get me wrong, but literally um, they, uh, they were essential in putting all that together and we, we had some great turnouts. Huh? Our last meeting alone, remember that? It was an unbelievable amount of people. We actually ran out of seats. So guys, um, give it up for them, please.